So what you see here is the Pluto X, which is a DIY and fully programmable drone by Adrona Aviation. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what features this Pluto X has and how it makes sense for the tinkerers or makers to use this drone in order to learn drone technology and flight and aerodynamics principles and all other things, right? So I really fall in love with this uh, Pluto X because it's uh, aerodynamically very stable when it fly. And also as a developer and programmer myself, I really wanted to look for the drone which you can program and tinker and build an application and use cases using the drone and and when i came and stumbled upon this pluto x i found out this is what exactly i was looking for it's like a little um you know arduino in the world of drones so it's like uh, diy the good good thing is you can pull apart every component every part you can pull apart and uh, you can see exactly how this drone is built and you can even going further can program the chip onto this pluto x um, flight controller which is called primus x okay so let me just first uh, show you how you can tear down all the components on the top of Pluto X, right? So here is a little fancy casing here. So let me just hold this drone properly and then pull a little pressure and just take it out this fancy casing, right? And this is how you can take out this fancy casing. And what you see here is a beautiful flight controller, which is a Primus X board, which is designed by Jonah Aviation. And this looks to be ESP. Um, 12F module or something like that for Wi-Fi connectivity. This Pluto X basically controlled over, uh, you know, mobile phone and they have um, and uh, applications, uh, mobile app that is a Pluto controller through which you can program and fly basically this um, a Primus X board. Now you see apart from just having the uh, motors, four motors and the propellers, uh, this drone also comes with uh, the camera, right? So here is a camera. So you also have the camera, which if you are interested in using or working on the camera based applications, maybe then this camera will fascinate you. Okay, and there's a little battery. I hope you can see later on. I will show you, but let's uh, tear down this, this, this uh, camera part, right? So let me just hold like this back side and then let me just first remove first I think better I can remove this antenna part and there's a little connector here I don't know if you can see in the camera I just want to take it out okay and then we can just take the camera and you can see how easy it is to pull out the camera and let me just put it here right around the casing and what all the things you can see is just a little nice battery right so if you can remove battery as well then there is literally nothing right so this is like in naked drone right you can see everything complete building block and you can see there's a little microcontroller out there stm32 I think, yeah, it's a STM32 which you can program through their IDE. We'll talk about the programming and other features, but you can see this is how this drone is built and it's very simple in order to understand how, um, you know, the, the drone, nano drones actually works. And now when it comes to tinkering, you might want to have to connect you know your additional extra sensors to the flight controller and because this is fully programmable they provide an IDE called Cygnus IDE which looks quite a bit similar like an Eclipse IDE very very prof professional and they also have API based interface through which you can basically program this um, uh, flight controller Primus X uh, now this Primus X comes with a Magis firmware which is a flight controller algorithm which basically runs by default onto this board but um, apart from that primary firmware Magis you can write your own application and then run on the top of this Primus X and they have something like this this is called expansion header 
okay so you can easily stack this expansion header and there's a little connector here I hope you can see this connector and in this connector you can easily plug in like this right let me just show you just a little connector and now you can have the expansion header on the top of your Primus X controller flight controller and I don't know if you can see in a camera or not but here you have SPI spy protocol pins uh, you have here UART serial UART pins then you have an I2C and you have a PWM1 and PWM2 channels so whatever sensors or devices you want to interface and program um, additional to this drone you can do this by using this expansion header okay and then later on in the video i would going to show you how you can program this drone okay so that's basically shows that how modular and uh, how great this drone is keeping in mind that um, the user will be a tinkerer or maker or a creative people okay so let me just take it out this expansion header okay and then you can see I would want to assemble back again just to show you once so you can put the battery here okay it's so easy to um, to tear down all the components and connect back again and fly so let me just install the battery and then of course the camera and the camera module will go like this here okay and then and the components and spare part used is very high quality so I never feel like scared to you know connect over and over again and this is like that connector for the camera so I can plug it in it's just a four pin connector okay it fit in properly and finally this is that fancy casing yeah behind the scene there's this antenna wireless I can connect and then finally you can put up this fancy casing I usually don't like but that's okay you can have this drone will look a little more like a professional drone after putting this light after putting this uh, you know fancy um, casing and now when it comes to flying you know um, there if, if you just take the drone like this and here's a little button I don't know if you can see this or not if you just take this button and stretch it towards you you see some LED light up here okay and that basically says the drone is powered up so this drone is right now powered up and basically how you fly this drone is by using your mobile phones right so I have my phone here and the first thing you have to do is you have to of course install this Pluto controller and before even going uh, you know after installing the Pluto controller you have to go to setting and after power up you go to Wi-Fi you see here you have a Pluto X cam so I can click on that and it asks me password so password is usually written into the box that you buy so I can insert the password in my case it's a Pluto x4242 and then say connect and you will see right now the Pluto X is connected okay so go back okay and now we have to find the Pluto controller app here it is I can open up the app and you see the nice little app pop-up and it says it's not connected in the beginning and we just have to say connect the moment you say connect then it turn out to be green and say ready to arm so when you say arm by the way I don't know if you can see but uh, the mobile app itself show the camera right you see oh, this this lap is a little small so I don't know if you can see because everything is like a black in front of camera right so I don't think you can see but in the background you see some images and videos is streaming but it's okay when it is ready to arm 
you can just click on arm after pressing connect button okay and you see now it's ready so when you want to fly this is very small lab and I don't want to take the chance because I have some AC and television and everything but I can just show you like how you can take up the flight okay so just press on take off and it starts flying and just say land I, I, I know it's just a little lab where I cannot fly but I can show you much better flight uh, flying uh, outdoor 